Excuse me, little dog. <clears throat> Hi, guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, I do mean over-the-top beautiful day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on, uh, I think we're at Thursday, April 8th, 2021, or somewhere along those lines. So I've got to get out of here and get out of town for a couple of days. But before I go... <clears throat> Guys, uh, I think I might have found the best doomsday headline of 2021 uh, here in Business Insider. You know, is trying to decide whether you're reading a headline out of The Onion or Business Insider. But we're going to let my little dog, my little dog got tarred and feathered. He has been tarred and feathered. What do you think, Sancho? We need to, we need to get you scrubbed. So while Sancho goes and licks himself clean. All right, guys. You know, I'm going to color a little bit out of the lines here on Collapse Chronicles today because this this is just, <laughs> this headline uh, just pretty much says it all. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you guys be the judge. All right. Take it away, Business Insider, and tell us one way that doomsday and the collapse of global industrial civilization and the uh, American Empire might happen and what this is of course is the latest uh, update in the in the building resource wars in the Arctic uh, as the US Russia and of course China who has nothing to has doesn't have one inch of coastline in the Arctic, uh, but you better believe China. So the Arctic, <clears throat> I know some of you, perhaps correctly, the Arctic is certainly one of the top contenders for World War III. My vote is still with the South China Sea, but anybody who wants to place their votes in the Arctic as the, so just listen to this story uh, from the mainstream media. Take it away. Russia is testing a nuclear torpedo in the Arctic that has the power to trigger radioactive tsunamis off the U.S. coast. There you go. There's a lot packed into this sentence, guys. So let's find out the new Rusky, the newest Rusky threat to the American Empire. All right, this is the takeaway <clears throat> for those with ADD. We have three takeaways before the whole story. Okay, number one, Russia is testing a nuclear torpedo in the Arctic. Number two, the doomsday device has the power to trigger radioactive tsunamis off America's east coast. Oh, I thought they were talking about somewhere like Alaska radioactive tsunamis off America's east coast. We're talking New York City, we're talking Washington, New York City, and Boston. The Pentagon said it is watching developments very closely. Okay, what's this all about? <clears throat> Russia is planning to deploy a nuclear-powered missile to the Arctic next summer, I guess they mean the summer of 2022 by next summer, that is designed to detonate off the coastlines of enemy countries. Satellite images provided this week to CNN by the satellite company Maxar indicated that Russia is testing weapons in the region and building significant military infrastructure in the Arctic which is increasingly free of ice because of climate change. Yeah, CNN reported that Russia would deploy the Poseidon 2M39 missiles to its Arctic region next summer. The missile has been referred to in reports as a doomsday device because of its devastating power. The device, images of which first suffered, surfaced on Russian state television back in 2015, is an underwater 
nuclear torpedo designed to hit the ocean floor, kicking up a radioactive tsunami that could spread deadly radiation over thousands of miles of land, rendering it uninhabitable. There you go, add radioactive tsunamis to your list of things. We need to put this, uh, do we have radioactive tsunamis in the glossary for the collapse yet? We have a new term, radioactive tsunamis getting ready to take out the east coast of the United States. Russian President Vladimir Putin requested an update on a key stage of the test in February from his defense minister and more tests are expected later this year. The Times of London has reported Russia and NATO countries with a presence in the Arctic and, and don't forget China, Russia, China, and NATO, including the U.S., with a presence in the Arctic region, have been increasing their activity there in recent years as rising sea temperatures make it more accessible. Russia has the world's longest Arctic coastline and derives about a quarter of its GDP from the region and the northern sea route is a valuable shipping corridor for Moscow. And of course, the northern sea route uh, is getting a lot more accessible with each year. So what does the Pentagon have to say about this? Don't worry, guys, you can go back to sleep. The Pentagon on Monday said it was watching reports of Russian military activities and infrastructure buildups in the Arctic very closely. This is Pentagon Press Secretary John F. Kirby talking about the new Doomsday Missile. Quote, without getting into specific intelligence assessments, obviously we are monitoring this very closely. Obviously we are watching this and as I said before, we have national security interests there, meaning in the Arctic, that we know we need to protect and defend. And I love the closing knee slapper of all. The, the, this is one of the, the great lines of double speak from a Pentagon spokesman. And as I said, nobody, nobody is interested in seeing the Arctic become militarized, said a spokesman for the U.S. Pentagon. Nobody is interested in seeing the Arctic militarized. Yeah, that's like uh, Sancho Panza saying, no little dog is interested in chasing chipmunks. Uh, <laughs> So guys, I honestly don't know how to call this one, all right? Now, one part of me says this is absolute crap, uh, anti-Russia propaganda, and so you can go from there's not one word of this uh, on any level that's true. Uh, I don't know. Uh, all the way over, now, of course, if it is true, what they never mention in these stories anywhere is that if, if Russia has this thing, obviously we have this thing. Uh, but I just, I just could not resist that, so we're going tomorrow. Oh shit, I'm not going to probably have internet tomorrow. I said tomorrow we will return to our regularly scheduled program about the collapse of a planet over there at Manga Bay. But... Uh, I just could not head out on this beautiful day without warning you of the incoming radioactive tsunamis. And now that I have done my job as a chronicler of the collapse of global industrial civilization, I'm going to get out there and enjoy this spectacularly gorgeous day before a radioactive tsunami washes over me. And I suggest you get out there and do the same. Bye, guys.